What's growing on gardeners? It's Abundant Gardening here. Today I'm just going to prepare a quick March garden update. Guess what's starting to pop out of the ground? As you can see we have a tulip there. We have daffodils starting to pop up. And as we continue down, this is where I planted uh, quite a few daffodil and tulip bulbs in the fall. There's some more daffodils right there. And as we keep going, they're kind of hidden. So in some places, there's some more. In some places, they're kind of actually hard to find. So it looks like we got quite a few uh, daffodils. Not too many tulips. There's another tulip that's popping up. And it looks like there's a tulip and daffodil bunch that's popping up. Nothing out of my Chinese ground orchid yet, which is what that stick is sticking up. <laughs> and then we'll move on. This is where some of the other uh, tulips will, and uh, hyacinths will pop up. Uh, usually they're about two to three weeks after all these others. So we'll start seeing uh, growth out of those ones soon. I'll also be keeping an eye out on this little hydrangea plant. Hopefully it survives. Um, we'll see probably in about two months whether there will be any new growth or not. And of course, we have the leaf mold in that bag and a bunch of leaves that I need to clean up around it. But there has been no growth from the mum. The blue fescue grass still looks pretty good. And then I have a sedum, which I'm not sure will survive or not. And we can move on to my other flower bed. Uh, these are looking pretty sad, the black mambo grasses, but they always do this time of year. Same with the coral bells, also known as a heuchera. This will uh, this will usually bounce back, but we had a pretty big freeze after after it was pretty warm, so we'll see. And here, we'll usually see lilies popping up right around that area right there where those uh, sticks are, right in that area. And then we'll have, I have my mint plant, which will probably come back from the roots. I plan on planting a currant plant back here in the corner where a tomato plant was last time. Then here, I don't know if this will survive or not, come back, but it is a blazing sunset. Uh, uh, Avens. I've never grown it before. I planted that in the fall as well. And of course we have a blue juniper bush. Then a maple tree, which it looks like it's still alive, which I am glad since it was planted so late in the fall. And then this is where I plan on doing my raised garden bed. As you can see, I need to straighten out that edge. But I plan on expanding this about a foot and a half to include some pots on the edge. But I plan on building a six foot by three foot raised bed in this spot. And I think it'll be a pretty good spot since I can easily run drip tubing to it and so on. Then we can move on to what's back here. Hopefully my uh, yarrow will come back. That is a yarrow back there. Then we have somewhere in here, right here, and these all these leaves, I have a hydrangea plant, which again I hope will come back. I'm not sure. It's still, some of the leaves are dead, or some of the branches are definitely dead. But you know, if it still comes back from the roots, or some of the lower down branches, that would be great. And these leaves make great mulch, just a wonderful mulch, so not too much cleaning up there to do. And then of course, um, I forget what those are called, but they're uh, red bushes with thorns. I don't like them too much, but they're a good landscape plant. And of course, boxwood, another one of those uh, red bushes. And here, I have a, um, it's called a bachelor's button amethyst in snow. It's a perennial. Usually you don't see bachelor's buttons as being perennials, but see here we got new growth starting to pop up. So that is wonderful to see in spring. Then we have another boxwood. 
And then a couple day lilies right here. I do plan on keeping uh, one of them, but I do want to get probably get rid of this one, which is just a plain yellow color. The two on the ends here are a cool, like a reddish coral pink color. So those are real nice to have too. And then of course we have the last plant, which is the iris. This will probably bloom at the end of May. And as you can see, new growth is starting to form on it. So that's just a quick garden uh, tour of uh, my garden and plants in early March. Stay tuned for more updates in my garden and please subscribe and uh, like this video if you want to see that process.